Hello everyone. Welcome to Map to Love with Catherine Nicole. This is my third go around with this, so you can imagine how frustrated I am. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but the only message I can get is this is the third time's a charm. So three is about expansion, communication, growth, uh, maybe trying it a different way, going at things, keep at it, don't give up, you know, that kind of a feeling. And it is Gemini season, so happy Gemini season, everybody. This is, a, this is new moon in Gemini, May 22nd. New start, recovery, rebuilding, focusing on longer term goals, turning a new leaf, letting go of old behaviors and beliefs that are outdated. And with you know my communication or this computer, I had to reboot it. So maybe there's some kind of reboot that needs to happen within each and every one of us. And there may be hints of confusion and frustration and lower self-esteem. So ground yourself and remind yourself of how magnificent you are and how strong you are and that you will succeed no matter what. Being determined. To me, the Gemini new moon highlights communication, reflection, truth, clarity, duality, and new ways of communicating. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest. I have these card decks right here because these were gifts given to me by two different, very beautiful divine feminines who are clients of mine. And I also consider them my friend. And I want to thank you both so much. Um, first, I got the good tarot and the earth magic from a beautiful, magnificent feminine of the light. And thank you so much. You know who you are. And I'm going to use them in this reading and in the next reading. And I was so excited because they're so beautiful. And then another beautiful friend, divine feminine of mine and client sent me this as a surprise, the Gilded Tarot Royale. So thank you so much. I just, I feel like so much love and I feel so appreciated by these gifts. And, you know, sometimes it's the little things that we love so much. And for someone to take time out of their day and, and take their money to spend and send me a gift, I am so thankful. So thankful. Okay, let's just get started. And hopefully this one's going to record. I mean, I'm really hoping because I had to like regroup and <laughs> take a breath. <laughs> so let's uh, let's see what's going on. I separated the major and minor arcana as I was guided to do to get some main themes for the masculine and feminine and the energy between. So let's see what the feminines is. Spirit highest and best. Transformation. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Feminines. Death and rebirth. You're rebirthing into this brand new person. Brand new you. New life. The spark of new life. And that by maybe why sometimes things are hard. Because as we transform and we really become the butterfly that we're meant to be. And all these light body activations and these shifts in the collective. In the energies of the earth and the different planets. And all these planets going into retrograde. You know, perhaps it is, you know, a time where things might get a little wonky, but just trust in it, trust in the process. What about for the uh, masculines? But stability is coming in, feminines, that's what I'm hearing. For the masculines, it's justice, new beginnings, 11, new beginnings, bringing the scales into balance, balancing the head and the heart, working out legal battles in the justice system, you know, finding a resolution, fairness, that kind of a feeling. So there's justice being served for the masculine, new beginnings, and with, within the union, there's a lot of strength. There's a lot of strength with the masculine and feminine within you. We all hold those energies, finding that balance. There's a lot of strength in that. The feminine intuition, emotions, compassion, that open, generous feeling. And then the masculine, the take charge, go after it, protective, make good decisions. So merging those energies, you're going to manifest your dreams into reality. And the union with you and your masculine, if you're thinking about it that way, is very strong. There's a strong connection manifesting this stability, this new life, these new beginnings. But some things need to fall away in order for that to happen, right? So we're going to read a little bit from the book. She just has little blurbs for each of these, and I think they're really cool because they're just short and it's something different than a traditional, you know, tarot deck. So this is the good tarot, Colette Baron Reed, and this is what transformation says. It's change. Nothing remains the same, and I need to accept that life evolves through cycles of birth, death, and rebirth. Now is a time of transition as things are changing from one form to another. 
I need to allow this to happen for the highest good. I am called to let go of the old so I can welcome the new. And what a beautiful message for the new moon, right? That's a, that's a gorgeous message for the new moon. New energy, new start. Justice, karma. The law of cause and effect is in play now as I see elements in my life balance out. What goes around comes around. I am now seeing evidence of this law in the conditions of my world. Yeah, Saturn went retrograde, so check out my Saturn videos and the all signs videos that I posted because it goes through all the different retrograde energies for you. Make sure to check out those videos, but it's all about karma. So karmic lessons or, you know, and karmic blessings, depending on where you're at in your journey. It's all an important part of the process. And strength that ties your masculine and feminine together is endurance. I can go the distance and I know that everything occurs in divine appropriate timing. I have courage as I manifest miracles. When I allow spirit to work through me, I am strong enough to move mountains and overcome any obstacle inside or out. Exactly. You're strong enough. You have everything it takes to move forward on this journey. And that's just spirit's way of saying that. Okay, we're going to take the gilded... Tarot Royale, and we're going to get another supporting main message for the Masculine Feminine Union for the Feminine. Judgment. Judgment call. 1010 portal is open. It's time to decide. The universe is saying you need to decide. Are you going to transform? Are you going to stay stuck? Are you going to stay in the old ways, the old belief systems, codependencies, addictions, relationships, jobs that aren't serving you? And look, there's a C and an M that may mean something to someone, but it's time to decide. And the universe is like basically coming in and saying, we're, we're deciding for you. You're going to rebirth. So you might as well go with it and enjoy it and learn the lessons. Like, I feel like that you've heard the call. Like, it's time for this transformation. It's time for this rebirth. Let's see if we can get this up here. So it's time. It's time for this, okay? And what about for the masculine? The hermit. Healing. Introspection. Having a little alone time. Taking a little time out. If you haven't done this already, masculines, this is how you find the balance within. As you go within, you connect to your inner light. You allow yourself to heal. Reach out to a healer if that's the case and, and it feels necessary because the snake is healing. This is shedding old skin. And then when you when you come out of that balanced and restored, you follow the light towards your destiny. The path is being illuminated towards justice, towards balance. Let's turn it here. So there's healing happening to bring things into balance for you for these new beginnings, masculine. And what about for the union? Temperance. Oh, wow, I love this because temperance is my twin flame soulmate recognition card. Temperance always it are also means reconciliation and tempering the energies of the masculine, feminine, shadows, and light within and finding that perfect balance. It's time. You're strong enough to do this. You're strong enough to go through this transformation. You're strong enough to make this decision. Your body is strong enough and has the capabilities to heal itself for you to find the balance and get your karmic justice. It's time. So balance is coming in and it's a very strong connection with the masculine and feminine. Very, very strong, passionate connection there. Okay, let's get some supporting energy here for the feminine. During this transformational process, this decision, this judgment call, this new life, birthing into this new life, what are we birthing into? What What is manifesting that's coming into the feminine's world? What's transforming? Look at that. Your ship's coming in. Forward movement. The puzzle piece is finally coming together. Everything coming together. And you're moving forward. Divine collaborations. That's what's manifesting here. Let's see what else. More stable, like-minded people coming into your life. Spirit working with you to bring it all home. Right? You hear the judgment call, the angels working with you, the divine working with you through this process. And look at this. This is this talks of 
strength and stamina, the nine of wands, the nine of fire. You have what it takes. You have all of everything you need within you to make your dreams come true, wishes come true. To me, it feels like for the feminine, wishes are coming true. The ships are coming in. Things that you've been dreaming about, dream bigger. Hold your vision because you're being helped by the fairies and the elementals to make all these dreams come true. You see that? Earth energy working with fire. A lot of spiritual growth, feminines. A lot of spiritual growth and expansion during this time. And look at this page of fire. You got all wand fire energy. That's passion energy. That's creative energy, spiritual energy, expanding, growing. And there's a new opportunity coming. Spirit's saying it's time. Let yourself rebirth into this new life because it's part of your wish fulfillment and part of your dreams coming true and really feeling creative and passionate and moving forward in these new beginnings. Like a newness, a fresh newness in life. What about for the masculine? Two of fire. Making the decision, having foresight. Going within, trusting your divine guidance, trusting your light and how to move forward. But this is seeing into the future. Making a decision that's best for your future and everyone else's future. There's no power in the past. This is looking forward and making the decision to move, to move on on a new path, I feel. Call that fire energy. <clears throat> and look at that, another two, two of water. This is the two of cups. Unconditional love, moving towards divine sacred union. Tempering the energies within yourself, masculines. Finding that balance, loving yourself and sharing it with another. That's the choice. I want to share my love. I want to come together and, and with my divine lover. I want healing. I want this. I want justice. That's what's coming is uh, soulmate love, unconditional love. And look what we get. Look at this. This is beautiful. So I feel like this is the masculine stepping into their power, um, taking charge, balancing the head and the heart, connecting to their emotions finally, getting out of their head and into their heart and making the decision to go after this love, what they love, a life that they love. See? Beautiful. And then this card that came out, they said this is the energy that's connecting it. This very reciprocal energy, this very give and take energy. I give to you and you give to me. I allow myself to receive this love and this offer and this opportunity, and then you allow yourself to receive. So there's some kind of gift coming in, opportunity in the material world that's going to be very abundant. This is soulmate love, a past life lover, someone coming in to bless you. And that's what I feel like is happening. See, with the temperance and the strength, this reciprocity is coming in, the masculine healing, wanting justice in their love situations going after what they're passionate about, what they love, who they love. You know, there's this beautiful, passionate, new energy coming in. I really, really like it. Rising above the drama, above the anxiety, above the toxicity, seeing things from spirit's point of view, hearing the call, the judgment call, bringing things into balance. It's really strong, really strong earth energy here. That bringing it together in the physical, whatever you've been working on, taking the lead, moving forward. Okay, what about in the feminine's headspace? Like you're hearing the call, you know it's time to transform. You're either in the process or you've already gone through it or you're just about to go through it. Everyone's on a different part of their journey. But where would a spirit want you to focus mentally? Where, where are we? What are we getting clear with in our head during this new moon energy, this Gemini season? Look at that rest. Getting clear, going within, connecting to yourself. This is the Four of Swords, rest. Resting from overthinking, you know, taking a little time out by yourself, feminines. That's what spirit's encouraging you to do. And the King of Swords, that's taking charge, have clear communication. There's clear communication coming in, feminines, and you're getting clear with the way that you want to communicate by going within and balancing your head and your heart space, taking charge. You know, this is a masculine energy, so taking charge, the masculine within you, ready for communication. This can also signify a masculine coming in, communicating something with you that's going to change everything. Your ship coming in, collaboration. What else is going on in the mental space? 
during this. And it makes sense. Mental space. Gemini is mental energy, air energy. And look at that. The six of pentacles comes out again. That's the six of earth. There is some kind of gift coming in. Feminines for you. An offer. For all the work that you put in. It's, look at the scales. Justice being served. The scales coming into balance finally. Things being balanced in your headspace because your material world, your ships are coming in. There's this new opportunity that's going to be really abundant, a gift coming in. A, a masculine could be coming in. It could be a father figure or someone of authority giving you this gift of, of you know, an inheritance or something, opportunity in the material world. This can also, to me, feels like the divine masculine in your life giving to you so that you can feel more stable. What about um, the masculines? What's going on in the headspace? What's coming in? What clarity is coming in during this time? Look at that. That's that two of fire taking that opp this opportunity for new life, this ace of wands. The universe is gifting you this opportunity to go after your passions, to go after your dreams, to light that fire and get on it. Go after the love of your life. Just light that fire and go for it. But this is you taking this opportunity. Getting clear about it. Getting clear about what, who and what you're passionate about. Look at this. You can't make this up. 666 on the board. Six of Pentacles twice and the Six of Cups. This is past life love. This is unconditional love. Soulmate love. Someone from your childhood or a past life. And look at all these cups like tend to the small things. The, the magic of the cat. The night magic. It's a productive, fertile time. And you get the Ace of Wands. It could be a fertile time to have some babies. Push creative projects forward. The frog, purification. Purify your life. Eat better. Exercise. Detox your friendships. Detox your energetic field. Reach out to a healer to help you do this. But it's time for this rebirth. See, that's the butterfly, the rebirth. Something, the masculine, their, their mental capacities, their headspace is rebirthing into this whole new way of thinking and operating. And oh my God, the Ten of Cups. Yeah, the masculine is thinking about peace, contentment in their family life. Healing their family life, healing the lovers, coming together, enjoying this life together. This is peace and contentment, happiness, joy, healing, ten of cups. So that's what the masculines are, are being guided to focus on. Now, to bring the scales into balance, you focus on the love. The, uh, look at all. This is all love and, and the passion, right? This is love, king of cups, uh, two of cups, six of cups, ten of cups. Do you see all this this cup energy for the masculine, and then this fire and passion to make the decision that's best for you. That's beautiful. What about in the feminine's heart space? Feeling very passionate. Wanting to communicate your passions. Communication coming in. Passionate communication coming in. You are manifesting it, feminines. You're manifesting forward movement. This is, this is movement forward. And you got that ship up there, like you're moving on. Yeah, moving on out of this regret of the things that didn't work out in love, that didn't work out in the material world. You're moving away from this. This is what spirit is propelling you forward, looking to the light, realizing that it was all part of the plan. Things are changing for the better. And see, you're in your heart space, you're letting go of the regrets, healing from that, moving forward. And look, look what you get to receive now because you're moving out of that energy. And look at this. Yes, feminines feeling abundant in your heart space. You know how much you have to give. See, that five of pentacles, learning all you can, and here's the number six. I am abundant. I am worthy. I'm creating the life that I dream of. I'm a good wife. I'm a good mother. I'm a good friend. I'm a good daughter. Do you see that? I am the queen, and I am creating my reality. And so the feminines are moving out of the regrets and resentments of the past and tapping into their passion, their creativity, their spiritual energy, their expanding energy and moving forward towards abundance in the material world and feeling abundant about love and what they have to offer. That's beautiful. What about for the masculines in the heart space? Oh, it's falling all over the place. Oh my goodness. Oh, wait till you see this. Come on. Okay, the masculines, nine of pentacles. Yeah, I'm, this is like queen of pentacles energy. I'm feeling good on my own. So the masculines in their heart space are working to break free, focusing on the love, getting out of their head, healing, finding balance, justice, ending cycles, ending contracts, ending relationships that need to end, and finding their financial freedom. So they're feeling um, 
during this time period, this new energy is going to help them find their independence and their emotional independence too and feel good in their physical body so that they feel good about themselves. Self-esteem rising, feeling more confident in themselves. And look at this. Unlocking the treasure, the Ten of Pentacles. Feeling very open for love, very open for this Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. This is legacy. This is moving towards your destiny. The Ten of Ten portal is open for this passion, this love, finance, like, look at this. This pentacle plus the nine of pentacles, what the queen has to offer, what the feminine has to offer, plus what the masculine already has is the ten of pentacles. Do you see that? Wow. It's pretty incredible energy, and it's earth energy, so it's bringing it into the physical. Like, the masculine is ready to share this abundant love and look at that, speak their truth about love. They're, at, they're coming to the edge, ready to take that leap of faith and communicate how good they feel about love and how generous they're feeling to give. Look, this Ten of Pentacles, what this masculine is unlocking in their life, doing whatever they got to clear away in the justice system, this new beginnings, this new life, this this fire, this drive, this fi these finances that are coming in, this abundance, they're going to give to you, feminines. Do you see that? They're going to give to you, which is going to help for your personal abundance. And it's a very giving and receiving, a very reciprocal relationship. And they're getting very clear that they want to go towards love. I mean, this is all about the love and the passion that they feel out of the battle, out of the lower vibration energy and into love. Wow, that's really beautiful. Okay, we're just going to get a little uh, what's manifesting, what's working to manifest for the feminine. Wow, that came out really fast. Messenger of earth. Yeah, there is a message coming in, a message for something beautiful in the material world that's going to be extremely abundant. And, you know, your heart open, you're stepping into your power, see solar plexus energy, trusting your intuition. There's some kind of message coming in that's going to change everything. It's going to help you move out of this energy. I'm telling you, there is some good opportunity coming your way, feminines. What about for the masculine? Manifesting. Wow. Celebrations. Coming together. Two coming together to be one. Weddings. Babies. This pearl of wisdom. Sharing your abundance with others, like-minded people. This is just celebrations, expansion, growth. The time is now. See? A lot of celebrations coming in love. See? Wow, that's really beautiful. And what is any supporting energy for this, for this messenger of earth? For the feminines, any supporting energy? Oh, that one flipped over. We'll see what that was. The Three of Swords. To me, this feels like the messages, the communication that's coming in is going to help you heal your heart. Do you see how the swords are in the heart, but there's this like very beautiful um, awakening that happens when we realize that the things that haven't worked out, the heartache, the pain, third-party situations, whatever this is to you, was all part of the process for you to crack your heart wide open and grow. So I just, I feel a lot of healing and no matter what's happened, it's like you're powerful, you're strong, your heart is strong and you're overcoming this energy. That's the message that's coming in is going to help you expand your heart space because the message is about love. See, wow. What about for the masculine? So you're healing feminines. It's time. It's time for this transformation out of that old energy and look at for the masculines. Yeah, four of wands. I mean, it's all over the board. 11, 11, divine, sacred, union you get the three of cups the two of cups the king of cups the ten of cups the ten of pentacles i mean come on the knight of swords clear communication about this i'm clear my stability lies within my sacred union within myself this is 11 11 this is alignment with who they are and then this is sacred union twin flame soulmate union i mean that's the that's that's the message yeah and at the bottom is the king of pentacles that's just saying the underlying energy is this is divine counterparts coming into the physical to unite. Business, love, whatever this is, divine counterparts coming together to create something really wonderful and really, really, really beautiful. That's what I'm feeling. Wow. Transformation in, in the earth plane. Transforming the way you communicate. Communicating from a place of unconditional love instead of toxicity and fear.
It's a strong connection. There's a strong pull towards your destiny. Allow yourself to receive this be beautiful abundance. I mean, look at all this abundant earth energy, messenger of earth, all this earth abundance coming in. I mean, seriously. Wow. Okay, what's a good message from the earth magic for the feminines at this time? Breathe. Just breathe. Breathe in the fresh air. Go outside. Go for a walk. Breathe in love and light and healing and breathe out anything that's not serving you. Just breathe. It's all working out. Just breathe. What about for the masculine? So we get stillness, right? Being still, going within, listening to spirit, going with the flow. And then we get release. Autumnal equinox, releasing the old. Remember I said release? So this is what, I mean, the masculine and feminine working together. The feminine is breathing it in, right? And the masculine is releasing it out. So your feminine is breathing in and your masculine is releasing out and you're finding peace in the stillness, okay? During this release process, this transformational process, finding the balance. So we're going to read the stillness, the lake, and just see what that's all about for the final message. That's what they're saying. So let me find the lake here. And these are by Stephen D. Farmer. The tempo of life these days has sped up considerably, and there seems to be no end to this quickening pace. Uh, you know, that's spring energy, right? Immersed as we are in the technological whirlpool, there seems no escape. However, there is no need to be a prisoner to the hurry-up syndrome, nor is there a need to feel trapped by the awareness of the collective intensities that massive numbers of humans are experiencing these days. Can I just say, wow, because of what's going on in the world? What a perfect message. No matter if the noise is from your environment or your seemingly nonstop thinking, it is critical for you to seek stillness. Find it in your world, whether it is a special place in your home or a place in nature that is far from the human-made noise. Of particular importance is finding it inside yourself which can be made easier by being in a quiet place in your natural setting. Doing so not only relaxes your mind, but also heightens your awareness and senses. Find peace in the stillness. Breathe in the healing. Breathe out all that's not serving you because it's time for new life, love, abundance, prosperity, healing, and happiness. I wish you so many blessings. I'm here for you. Reach out to me as you feel guided.